question do you ask the crew every day and what's happening in 10 minutes? <laughs> every day I ask for the longitude and latitude um, pretty much for every crew member because I don't want to miss going over the equator. Are you a little bit obsessed with longitude and latitude? I am. And today, in 10 minutes time, we're going to be crossing the equator. And you know, for this reason, we're not going to miss it because I keep asking. <laughs> Even though they don't know what the word equator is, which is quite strange. So what do they say? I just always go, latitude zero, latitude zero every day. Does it help that you say latitude? Latitude zero. <laughs> It's um, really dark We're up at the bridge. It's uh, it's very late. We're just about to cross the equator, which is quite exciting. So here, here we have, uh, as proof um, for our Guinness World Record, we have a, a longitude of 129, and at the top here we have the latitude, which is ticking down beautifully until we cross the equator. Here we go. I'm glad you can count. Ready for zero, 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 two. This is thrilling. <laughs> One. Yes! All right, we're now in the Northern Hemisphere. Woo! <laughs> that was pretty Excited. exciting, right? That was exciting. <laughs> that was very good. Hop in down! Yeah. You little equator dodger, you. Woo! I love toast. We found the toast dash uh, yeah. that day five. The food is not ideal on board. Sometimes it's really good, and then other times it's quite um, minimalist. So there's like one type of meat and one type of vegetable, and then another type of meat and rice. So today for dinner I had rice and cabbage. So tea and toast is my favourite time of day. I love toast. Bring me toast. 